Good morning ladies. I was asked to do a tutorial on how I dye my Digi prints. Um, these are the digitals. Um, so what I do, I buy that paper to start with. I use that jug and I only use one pint to 10 tea bags. If I want it nice and sparkly, I use this stuff. This one, there you go. Amsterdam acrylic ink, and it's really gold. So it leaves a beautiful, nice sheen on your paper. Sometimes I even add this for more depth, but I've got to be, you've got to be really careful if you're doing light pages. So when you dye your pages, um, what I do with the 10 tea bags, I boil them in the pot for 10 minutes with the um, gold. Then um, I always make sure they're facing in when they're on the stove, so you don't lose that color consistency. But you can see um, there's a lot of nice colour in there. Now with people that have got printers that um, use cheap ink, be very careful because it will run the cheap ink. So there you go. It's retained its colour, but you've got that old-fashioned look. Now what I generally do is I get my paper turn it upside down and I satch the back as much as I want it. Um, and that's depending how dark I want it. So that's pretty, pretty satched. And when I turn it over, I lightly do the front. And I mean very lightly because I want to retain the colour of my picture. And I put it in face up. So... That one's dry, um, and you can see because I used that bit of colour in it, um, it gave it a nice thing. But it's got a very nice sheen, but it's hard for you to see um, in this light. But see the colour, and you haven't lost your print. So one litre to ten tea bags, a bit of gold if you can afford it. That paper is really important. 10 tea bags, boil your tea in the tray. You can brush it on heavily at the back, but lightly on the front. And you will be able to cut your pages without worrying about um, how white they are and stuff like that. Um, like I said, lightly on the front, you do not want to lose your colour. That is really important. That colour, you do not want to lose it. But you've got a nice gold flex in that. So that's how I do my pages. Now, if I was dyeing paper, I would put the whole pot of water in there and I'd literally soak my pages. Um, I do them a heap at a time and I chuck them in the oven. Again, I use the premium digital paper. It's double the cost of your normal cop, uh, copy paper, but it's better quality and you will have very um, strong pages. Also remember the pH balance. If you want to put photos in, you need to use baking soda. That is very important. Um, if you're using a bit of alcohol or alcohol inks in your teas and coffee, that might be enough, but I wouldn't trust it too much. I'd still would use baking soda. Um, thank you for listening to me. Um, I'm hoping this will work out for you, but that's how I do my digi prints. Um, and normally, I can because I've put alcohol in that pot of tea, I can actually keep it in the pot for quite some time. Thank you everybody. Thanks for watching.